Every single lead gen activity, no matter what it is, is designed to create a list of people for you to call. Listen, if you're busy showing property, negotiating deals, going to listing appointments, you know, writing offers, great. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Ricky Caroo. He is an investor, a speaker, and soon to be remembered, in my opinion, as a legend in the industry. The cool thing about what he was doing was he was documenting everything. Like he would post his calls, his work he was putting in, the strategies, he was sharing everything. And if they don't go with that, then that's okay. You don't have to win. This is the thing, guys. You don't have to win every single person over. What side are you going to be on? When you're new, you should say, here's my strength. When you're old, you should say, there's my strength. I already know why you're stuck. You quit getting new leads. You quit prospecting. You quit calling. You quit doing the stuff you know that you need to do, thinking that your current database is going to somehow explode without you. You close more deals because people see confidence in you. You're wondering why you're not converting. I'll tell you why you're not converting, because people see and feel the fact that you don't believe what you're telling them. Let me, let me get in here and build my brand that matters, which is what people actually think about me because they've talked to me. So when we put you guys in position where you're creating every single lead gen activity comes back to just creating a list of people to call, okay? We're just going to give you the list of people to call so you can go build your brand. This is the quickest way for a real estate agent to build the type of brand that they need to build to go and stack listings. And 2024 is going to be the year of the listing agent. <laughs> it's going to be the year of the listing agent. Whoever controls the inventory is going to control the market, going to control their income, et cetera. We don't know what's going to happen with the lawsuits and the different things and all the stuff happening. You need to develop your skills of being a listing agent. And this is the highest uh form of efficiency when it comes to doing just that so i'm excited i'm, I'm gonna make a couple calls for you guys today um so yeah tyler's gonna kick it off with some questions i'll screen share walk you guys through the platform i'll make a couple calls and then uh, we'll do some q a so it's gonna be a lot of fun listen the only reason we're telling you guys this stuff is because it's the quickest way to a transaction how do i know that why do i know that why do i think that it's because Every single lead gen activity, no matter what it is, is designed to create a list of people for you to call. And what we're saying is, is don't worry about doing the activity to create the list of people to call. Here's the list right here. Just call them. And we literally like hack the system. We sidestep the entire marketing process and go straight to the source. So not only that, the exact people want to do business with. So when you realize getting Zillow leads, getting Facebook leads, um, doing open houses, um, whatever it is that you do, send a postcards, all the stuff that you do to try to not to call people, all that, all, you know what you're doing? You're just slowly creating a list that you're gonna have to sit down and call. So yeah, I mean, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, it means just get on the phone. If you're busy, listen, if you're busy showing property, negotiating deals, going to listing appointments, you know, writing offers, great. Go do all that stuff eight hours a day. You're the most productive real estate agent in the history of the world. Awesome. But not everybody are do is doing those activities eight hours a day. So what do you do when you're not doing those activities? You make calls. <laughs> you call a list of people that may buy and sell properties. You're a salesperson. Okay, let me ask this question, Ricky. Um, what do you think, and, I, and you've, I think you've already answered this, what do you think is the number one thing that people can do right now to fill the pipeline in 2024? Talk to people. You're not going to fill up a pipeline of people that you ain't talking to. Okay. <laughs> it ain't going to happen. So here's, here's what's, here's what's crazy. So we've got a bunch of people that are on this call. These are, these are primarily people that have purchased the, um, the 20th anniversary Red X bundle, which as you mentioned, it was the biggest discount that we've ever offered. It was, it was, everything that we had, it was all the tools. It was crazy, crazy discounts. Yeah. And, and now for January, right, we've got trainings every single week, multiple times a week with top producers and trainers like you, Ricky, you're going to be on again yeah. on the 18th. I think you're going to, yeah. you're the only guy doing, doing, doing two for us. Yeah. Um, but the idea is, is now that all of these people have purchased these products, we want them to start to see success as quickly as possible. Because the truth is our industry is, is hugely attritious. 
People yeah. get into the industry and we know that that almost nine out of 10 realtors won't renew their license when their renewal comes around in two years. Yeah. Huge, huge attrition. And the number one reason why they don't is because they didn't find success, right? Mm -hmm. They got into it not knowing what to do. Um, and, uh, and, and so that's what these, the purpose of these trainings are for is to show people that, look, it's not that difficult. Now, guys and gals, if you don't follow Ricky, uh, Ricky is one of the, one of my favorite people in the industry to follow. And the reason why is because, um, I've, I've had private dinners with Ricky. I've been on stage with Ricky and Ricky is Ricky is Ricky, right? The guy that you see on the webinar right now is the same guy that you get when he responds to your DMs. He's the same guy that you get when you run into him in the halls. Um, he's, he's, uh, he's so incredibly genuine, so incredibly genuine that he's one of my favorite people to follow because he's been in the trenches. He's done the work. He's built a business where he was able to sell over a hundred homes as a single agent for what? 11 years running, 10 years running. I did a hundred deals a year for eight years in a row. Eight years in a row. It's single phenomenal, agent. phenomenal. And, and, and for the next 40 minutes or so, guys and gals, he is going to teach you and show you how simple it is because it's not difficult. It is so simple. So, Ricky, why don't you jump in? I know that you want to share um, some some screens uh, or excuse me, share some uh, screen yeah. share with us while you do some prospecting. Yeah. Let's just get right to it. Let's show people how simple it is. There's no need to overthink it. And while Ricky's pulling this up, you guys. Here's what I want you to understand. It is so simple for us to distract ourselves from doing the things that actually make us money in the business. And so as Ricky said, it doesn't matter if you're getting leads from Facebook or Zillow or your brokerage or your sphere of influence or whatever. Every single one of those sources of leads is going to lead to being on the phone anyway. And what Ricky is saying is it's so incredibly simple just to jump in and start making the calls. Uh, and uh, whether you're doing that for the expired or the for sale by owners, the geo leads, um, it, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of picking up the phone. And Ricky's going to show you how simple it is. Don't overthink it. Don't worry about what to say. You'll, you'll, you'll learn your scripts and you'll learn how to be confident with those scripts in time. We want you to use the role play system that Red X has. We want you to practice those. But the best way to get in there is just to start picking up the phone and calling. Lisa Mays asked, she said, were you a cold caller, Ricky? Yeah, I was going to answer two of these questions before I screen shared, walked you guys through the platform itself. Um, so where I, was I a cold caller? That is all I did. All I did was circle prospecting. I didn't do expiry for sale by owners or anything else because honestly, we didn't have a lot of more in my market. I'm living in a small town, Alabama. And um, we didn't really have that many per day. Now with Red X, I can go back 10 years worth. Just call Red X. They'll help you get 10 years worth of expired data or whatever. That's what you need to be doing. Um, but yeah, I, I did circle prospecting. I had to look them up one at a time. Whitefoot, Bigfoot pages, uh, Bigfoot, uh, whitepages.com, Bigfoot, Spokio, Google. Had to look everybody up one, one person at a time. I did it from like five to nine o'clock every night, a hundred numbers. Took me like three hours so I could have numbers to call the next day. That was my routine. Now you can just click a mouse and get thousands of phone numbers in the click of a mouse and start auto dialing them. Say, look, if you want to go down to the big guys, you said big guys, so that's what I'm saying. You want to go down to the big guys that got all this marketing dollars and you want to look at them in the eye and say, hey, where's the, my deal going to be on, on your priority list and see where they say, I guarantee it's not going to be number one. They got 50 listings, 30 listings, 70 listings. Guess what? I got two and yours is going to be my highest priority. Now what? And if they don't go with that, then that's okay. You don't have to win. This is the thing, guys. You don't have to win every single person over. You're just looking for 20, 30% of the population that love you. 20 to 30% of the population loves you and will follow you to the ends of the earth, period. The other 70%, I hate to say it, but who cares? They either don't like you, and that's okay. They either don't like you or they already have an agent they're loyal to They've already found their agent. They're part of the 20 to 30% for another agent. That's okay. Find your 20 to 30%. Your job is to filter through the population and get to the people that love you forever. And they're out there. It's, it's, like, it's like dating. Is there somebody for everybody? Somebody, some people will say there's more than one person for everybody. Right, Tyler? <laughs> Most charismatic people come in and not sell a thing. Right? It's because one person understood 
that they're just looking for the people that want to work with them. And they're, they, they have blinders on when it comes to the other people. It's like, great. You want to unsubscribe from my email? Awesome. I don't have to worry about you anymore. <laughs> You're going to cuss me out on the phone? Well, first off, let me laugh at that because I think it's funny and see if I can bring you back because I don't care if you do business with me or not. That's the whole point. So don't worry about it, man, if you're a new agent. Like, that should be your strength. You know, you got old agents saying, how do I compete with the new agents? And you got new agents saying, how do you compete with the old agents? What, what side are you going to be on? When you're new, you should say, here's my strength. When you're old, you should say, there's my strength. You got to look at every single factor point as your strength, not your weakness. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Hey, Jackie, Ricky Carruth, EXP Realty here in Gulf Shores. Hope you're doing good. I'm sure you're getting a ton of calls about your Peninsula condo there. I sold a couple units in the building, and I promise you, you ain't talked to an agent like me yet. Give me a ring when you get a chance. 251-752-1138. Looking forward to it. <laughs> I mean, let me, let me get a listing real quick, man. Shoot. Zero to diamond. Dot com everybody that's just, that's ricky's group if you guys are not following ricky already if, if you're not following him on instagram if you're not part of zero to diamond you should be um, i mentioned at the beginning of the call ricky's one of the guys that i like to follow because ricky is ricky is ricky his tactics are proven it's real world training it's simple and ricky is is the most genuine guy in the industry and i'm not blowing smoke that is that is the truth. So whether it's Ricky and I on the phone one-on-one -on -one or with the hundreds of people that we have on here, Ricky is Ricky is Ricky. And that's why, that's why you need to follow him because his, he, he doesn't teach anything that he hasn't already done himself, uh, which is awesome. Yes, Linda, there is a separate login for the Red X University. You'll have to create that the first time. Um, and uh, uh, let, me, um, let me ask this one question here, Ricky, if, if – uh, we, we've we've mentioned several times stop overthinking it guys and gals stop overthinking it don't overthink your ad don't overthink your voicemail don't overthink who you're targeting just get in and start making the calls what's going to happen to somebody's business ricky if they put aside all the anxiety and procrastination and just start pounding the phones even if it was just geo leads if they did it for an hour a day what's what's going to happen in their business well you know, how long you got, right? <laughs> so <laughs> this is what I'd say, guys. The, 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 here's, the, here's the part that people really get messed up on. It takes a good 30, 60, 90 days to build momentum, okay? And it takes about a week of not doing it, of not doing it, to lose all the momentum that took you a month or two or three to build up. See it all the time. People build up momentum. They're doing great. They're getting listings. They're closing deals. And then they fall off of doing the daily things they need to do to continue to build their business. And uh, that's it. They uh, then, they have to, then it takes them 60, 90 days longer to, uh, let me show you this. This is what most agents' businesses look like. Come in year one, you get new leads. Great. Year two, those new leads turn into warm leads. And they get some more new leads. So they add to the amount of leads they have in their database. They make 200000 and then guess what? Year three, they don't do new leads anymore, right? So what happens to their business? It levels off. You see that? It levels off. Your business is completely predicated and correlated to, to the, the, the size of your database. So, I mean, you can imagine if you quit getting leads, adding to your database, your database stays the same size. You make the same amount of money every year. You see agents all the time making 200000 200000 200000 Why? This right here. This is it. Okay? Now look at this example. Okay? If you continue to add the new leads every year, it keeps building up. And you build up to the level of income you want. And once you hit the level of income you want, then you can level off. Level off at the income that you want. Not, not the income that you don't want. You know, I mean, you, I talk to countless agents. I'm stuck at 200. I'm stuck at 200. I'm stuck at 150. I'm stuck at 250. Okay. Are you just working sphere and referrals? Yep. I already know that. I already know why you're stuck. You quit getting new leads. You quit prospecting. You quit calling. You quit doing the stuff you know that you need to do, thinking that your current database is going to somehow explode without you. Newsflash, guys. It's not. As soon as you quit 
feeding the 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 beast as soon as you quit feeding your database your database and your income levels off and that's the end of the story for you until you realize it and you say you know what he's right let me go back let me let me add some new leads and build my database up and keep it going in this direction instead of looking like this it's plain and simple ladies and gentlemen it's real black and white there's not any gray area there's not a question. It's very, 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 very extremely simple. And now that's probably part of the problem. It's too simple. And so you think there's no way. It's no way it's that easy. Yes, it is. You, you, see the, you see the diagram. Year one, year two, year three, year four. You see this diagram. Year one, year two, year three, year four. It takes years, ladies and gentlemen. You see this? Years. Y'all are complaining after a month or two or six months, or eight months, or even one year, or even two years. You ain't going to get anywhere in two years. You're literally building the foundation for like three or four years before you're even to a place where you can even take a step back and say, oh, okay, I think I know what's going on here. Now, you do have a lot of people who say, oh, we'll do something next year and everything. Well, guess what? A lot of those people are just blowing smoke. They're just telling you what you want. They think you want to hear to get you off mm. the phone, to get you moving on. But there are a percentage of those people that are going to do business. And maybe the ones that are blowing smoke, they're just blowing smoke for now. That doesn't mean they're going to not buy ever or sell ever. It's about accumulation, guys. It's about um, it's about building that snowball up. It's momentum. I was talking about this with a, with a, one of my agents today. Um, you know, he's kind of bit let his foot off the gas for, for a minute. Well, it takes about 30, 60, 90 days to build real momentum. It takes about a week of not doing anything, a week or two to erase all the momentum you built up over the last couple of months. And now you got to start all over again. You feel like you're starting from scratch and you just feel defeated because you just went through all that to build the momentum. And now here you are, you got to push that, that, get that truck moving once again. But there's so much potential in this business. You can make as much as you want to make as you're willing to go out there and make as much as you're ambitious to make. But yeah, people, you know, it, it has to be, guys, it's got to not be about the money. Because if it becomes about the money and you get a year worth of bills taken care of, you will let your foot off the gas, and then you'll be right back in the same boat you were before you got in that great position of having a year worth of bill. How do you think you got to where you had a year worth of bills on the bank? Right? You got to keep doing that. You know, Let's go ahead and fill up. Let's go ahead and take care of the rest of our life worth of bills. And then we'll take our foot off the gas a little bit, right? Also, I did uh, I did a full Red X like uh, tutorial. I made a couple live calls for everybody that got the Red X package, the end of the year deal or the uh, the Cyber Monday deal. And that was just earlier today. But I've got the recording for that and I will put it in 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 the past coaching call section for you guys to watch that if you didn't see that or if you didn't get the package and you weren't invited or whatever, if you're part of the silver group, I'm going to make that available and it'll be right there in the past coaching calls. And I'll make a post and send it out so that you guys see that it was really good. Um, if anybody was there for that. All right. So, uh, and, and let me warn you guys too. Um, this is going to be like drinking out of a fire hose. I'm going to throw a lot of stuff. I'm going to jump around from subject to subject. I'm going to be talking really fast. I'm going to be saying a bunch of stuff. So this might be one that you go back to and watch the replay and take a bunch of notes and try to pick out the most important parts of the call that, that apply to your business the most. Okay. Because I'm going to be all over the place because I just want to get it all out there. This is the, this is the blast off call. I'm not trying to talk real slow so everybody gets it because I know you can go back and watch the replay. I know a lot of you guys are taking notes. The more deals, you close more deals because people see confidence in you, right? That you have confidence in yourself and the market. Now, you may look at this and you may be thinking, Ricky, why, why are you telling me this? This is silly. This is elementary stuff. No, it is not. The reason why a lot of you aren't closing the amount of deals you want to close is because you don't have full confidence in what you're doing or the market or the future or whatever, and people see it all over you. They see it on you. They hear it on you. They know it's on you, and they don't want to do business with you. There's a million agents out there. Who are they going to pick? The one that they feel like 
they look at and they they say, that guy's going to get it done. Why? Because you believe that you're going to get it done. You believe you're going to sell that property. You believe you're going to find them a property, whatever it is. You guys got to leave the, the, the lack of confidence at the door. You're wondering why you're not converting. I'll tell you why you're not converting, because people see and feel the fact that you don't believe what you're telling them. When you have confidence, you're going to communicate better. And look, it, it, it's not confidence in the fact that you sold a million properties or you 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 got a million listings or you know what's going on in the market. That's not what it is. It's confidence that you're going to work the hardest and be the most honest and dependable and have the most integrity and, and, and help them. Your, your, your confidence is standing behind the fact that you know you're there with the right intentions to help them. You don't have any mental health. So when you have confidence in yourself and the market and the fact that you're here to help people and you're going to go to the ends of the earth to not only help people, but, you know, do the things that you're supposed to do and work hard. Then you're going to be in such a good place and you're going to close a million more deals. I got to tell you this, because if I tell you how to get in front of property owners, but I don't I don't say anything and, and emphasize this part then we're going to lose all these deals that I helped you get in front of. Can we live like this? Can you walk out the door knowing that it doesn't matter what the market does? It doesn't matter if people are mad at me. It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. The only thing that matters is I'm not going to do my job to go out here and help the 20 to 30% of people that I talk to that love me forever buy and sell real estate. The other 70%? I hate to say it like this, but who cares? They either don't like you or they have another agent. I can't do anything about that. I'm looking for the 20 to 30% that love me forever. If this is elementary to you, I'm sorry. But it's not elementary for a lot of people, and they don't even realize that this is the reason why they're not closing deals. They can hear it in your voice. You guys have to understand that every single lead gen activity, no matter what it is, Facebook ads, Zillow, open houses, cold calling, you know, sphere of influence, whatever it is, it, it all comes back to the same exact thing, which is you sitting down and calling a list of people. Think about it. You get Facebook leads. You're just getting a, a bunch of people. You sit down and call that list. Zillow leads, call the list of old Zillow leads. Open house, call the list of people that came in. Uh, you know, sphere of influence, call the people in your phone. Cold calling, call the list of people that you got on Red X. Every single one of them. There's nothing. And every single activity is only trying to get you to a conversation with someone. So if I can get it into your head to realize that everything that you, all you're doing is getting there slower by doing all these things to try to get to the list of, of people to call. When I'm just handing you a list of the exact people you want to do business with to just go ahead and call. We're literally just going back door on the entire process and saying, we don't have to do all this marketing and stuff. We don't have to do all this, spend all this money and do all these crazy things just to try to get a list of people we can call. Hell, we can just get a list of people that we want to do business with right now and just call them. Okay, scripting. Let's kind of dive into this. All right, and, and by the way, I added this right here, this get expired listings. I just added that today, right? There's a class. I think I made live calls. I think I made some live calls on here, but I, I know this was really, really good. Okay, and then here's the script right here. It's just right here. Get expired listings. Okay, if you guys need a refresher, if you need a lesson on it, there it is. If you're if you want to be a mega powerhouse agent, and not this doesn't have to do with, like let's take cold calling out of the out of this. Let's say you're warm calling, following up. Let's say you're calling friends and family. This applies to anything. And by the way, I'm talking about cold calling, but I just I just gave you guys a foolproof plan to hit every single property owner in your market on social media for a couple dollars a day. And I'm telling you to use social media to post once a day 
when they see your ads and then they click your profile and go to your go go to your profile and see you're also posting and talking about the market and stuff, guess what? You're now famous in their mind. And then you call them next week. Now you're like super agent. And you will crush it if you do these things. I'm doing good. Cool. Me too. I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Great. Well, look, man, I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but this whole beginning part of this script is universal because after the but, you can put anything you want in there. I see you were trying to sell this house at one point, but it's not off the market now. Whatever happened with that? I see you're trying to sell this house for sale by owner. What's going on with that? Um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but... Uh, you know, you've got this property wherever I might have a buyer for it. Whatever the case may be, whatever your reason for calling is, all the way up to this point is literally universal. I don't want to take up too much of your time today, but I saw you were looking at some properties online. Maybe you clicked on a Zillow ad or something, and I was just calling to see what was going on and see if there's something I could do to help you. It's universal. Have conversations with people, care about people, help people. Think of yourself as a volunteer worker doing community outreach, right? Volunteer workers work for free. They do community outreach for free to see what they can do to help people. That's how you need to run your business. Yes, sir. Uh, I signed up with Rex okay. and I hooked up a business phone number Got it. to use instead of my own personal phone number. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't get anybody to pick up the phone. Um, so I thought maybe you, it's you coming over as 35 spam. numbers. Yes. Okay. You hand dialed or auto dialed? No, uh, the right X, just one number at a time. Okay. So single line dialing that's auto dialing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, 35 numbers is literally zero. Okay. I mean, I would expect you to get somebody on the phone, but there's one to two things happening. Um, either it's a weird batch of data or your number showing up as spam. It is actually showing up as spam. I okay, well, there you go. There's the problem. Phone number. Okay. How do I get that off there? Did you get the, um, did you get their smart number? Yes, I got one of their numbers. It's a local to my area code. Okay. And then did you, um, did you put it, do you got it all set up right? Do you have yes, that? I called customer service and they walked me through it. And okay, afterwards, but have you I called the family member. But have you talked to yes. them since all this happened? Have you talked to them since you shown up as spam? Have you asked them what the deal is? Because they gave you the number, right? Yes, I just realized it was spam because the family member said it's coming over as spam. So that's what you need to do. You need to call. You need to call Red X. Okay. There's something you're done wrong, or maybe there's something wrong with the number or something, and they need to either give you a new number or maybe something didn't get verified or whatever. Yeah, yes. but 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 I do want you to know, 35 dials is zero. Sure. We normally don't start judging until we get to at least 500. And then we start saying, okay, we kind of have an idea. And then really 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 is kind of where we say, okay, we've got some averages here that we can work with, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate but I like, I mean, like, you know, something's wrong though, you know, and you said yes. it showed up as spam. So that's the problem. So this is what you do now though. Yes, sir. Hand dial on your phone, right? Take tomorrow and do like 20 numbers on your phone and see how many people pick up. Just calling off okay. your phone. Do it, do it yes, like sir. that. Just, just to see what happens while Red X is trying to figure out what's wrong with your number. You got it. Thank you. Cool, man. All right, guys, let's see. What, uh, Two hours into this thing. Okay. I hear you. I see what you guys are going to do. All right, cool. Um, enjoyed it. Nice little blast off call. Hope you guys got a lot out of it. You know, go back through, watch it, take some notes. Um, try to take whatever nuggets you can to apply to your business. Next week, we're going to go through week two. I'm going to have the whole schedule lined up for you. Um, DM me on the platform if you need anything whatsoever. And um, and let me know definitely if you have any uh if you get any listings, so you can add you to the leaderboard. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything here, guys. What am I missing? Huh? 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 All right. Love you guys. Um, I'll see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. Keep crushing.